Do I have the right radio? Ready to go. Fuck up, I do. I can see my feel so much yes. better now. Well, let's see this works. It's fucking ice one gameplay. Maybe I suck now. Found it. That is a bad jump. I what the fuck? the wing. Fuck you. Hit nothing. Fuck you. Hit the wing. What? Oh my god. Suffering. <sighs> Opening wasn't bad even though I didn't get the exhaust dunk. Like, I was still just hitting him in the head. But I fucked up the uh, flying tail poke. I should have just water striked, walked back, and done the spinning dodge on that instead of trying to golf swing him. But the golf swing only hits from like a very specific angle when he headbutts me. Enough of that. I did not reorient myself, that was terrible. Huh. That was the opposite way of where I need to stand. I need to face the other way so the hammer swing, the gold swing hits like the bottom of the arc and contact his head instead of fucking whipping.
team out of episode. I'm too slow on it. Wait, this could be a funny. Nice dumb spot. Why am I so dumb? What the fuck? How did I get demon powder? Oh, it's only 10 raw, but like. No, nah, no, nah, 10 raw. 10 raw. 10 raw for 3 minutes with my. How much raw stack do I have? I'm fucking what? 514.3 boost, so. It's only like 2%. But that's two percent on a seven-minute run, so two percent of uh, four hundred seconds is eight seconds. Eight seconds versus the time. Yeah, it's worth definitely worth. Wait, no, it's not eight seconds the whole time. I mean, it's not like the whole run I have active. It becomes like it's like active for half the run, so it's only like four seconds time save. But that's still worth it, considering it takes me fucking half a second of the wave to actually pop it. I should rebuff. Rebuffing is worth it. Here. I lost time in that shot trap. That was a super good spot. Shitty opening, holy. No exhaust I can make here. Bad times. Fuck, he flinched, that's a lot of more damage gone. Washed. This is gonna hurt. How did that hit the wing? Most monsters have like a sort of magnetism like on the head with hammer. Like your your hits, even if they clip other hit zones, the game registers it mainly as like hitting the head because they want the weapon to feel good. But against Acelos in the exhaust state, I don't know why, but it feels like the magnetism is not fucking there. So like if I swing like a millimeter off, I hit the ring. <sighs> Very painful. But that run was shit anyway, like I got mid KO, I got no exhaust on, I got like bad sequencing, I missed the fucking swing because flinch. I didn't count the flinch properly, well, I didn't guess it, I don't count it when bad. Oh, 
guys. Why done this? That's also why done this. That's also why done this. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna give up. Fuck, I'm playing score on CSS here. Fuck hammer, hammer shit. This is why I quit running hammer. <laughs> I'm, I'm just watched. I haven't played in two weeks. I've been busy grinding Iceborne and stuff. So like, like it keeps happening. Like something comes up, like a, a, a and then I take a break from fucking Atlas Hammer, and I forget how to fucking do everything. If I was doing this like consistently for the amount of time I'd be on this, I would have the sub 240 easily. Fuck, I missed my fucking seat. I mean the sub 640 easy, but like I've just taken like. A couple of fucking two week breaks, so it's just been no progress. Like, I learned a lot of stuff and then I sort of lose it a bit. Or, like, it's not even learning, like, I've learned everything, it's just consistency. Like, I've not built my consistency because I've been playing. Time to go. Risen Shigaru, oh man, that monster. Some people like it, I, I can't relate because, like, I, I can't. I, that fucking monster. Ready to go. I'm wasting. It just moves. I feel great. And then you wait. That is all stuff. What am I doing? <sighs> um, I like it. So like, I've got plans for like what I'm gonna run next, which is scorn CSS. But after that, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Maybe like. I've considered doing multi monster hunts, like not as like a run, but like as like a fucking gameplay showcase. But multi monster dog shit, because they spawn, like their spawns overlap, which um, I can't fight two things at once. So maybe I'll run like Switch X on like um. The Naga run? I don't know. Or I'll try the Axe Hopper stuff. Because there's no, there's no Axe Hopper runs on YouTube. Like, it's all on Bleebly, the Chinese website, and Axopper is very viable, the scroll swap gameplay. I want to try one of those, actually.
bro. I hate that angle. There's nothing I can do there. Because, like, if I'm facing, like, slightly diagonal, like, I can't side roll that, and I can't forward roll that, and, like, I'm playing keyboard, right? Like, that's... <laughs> I have no other choice but pop in those directions. Maybe diagonal roll, man. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, like, some weapons, if you kill a monster in a multi-monster fast enough, you kill it before the next one spawns. And, like, that's like, if you're playing, like, multiplayer fucking dual blades, you can do that. But if you're playing solo switch axe or something, it's, you're not gonna do it, even if you play perfectly. The monster will spawn in, and you'll be fucking fighting two things at once. Which could be funny, but it's usually dog shit. Like, in, I, I can't think of a single monster in the game where, like, multi-monster is nice and doable and fun and not garbage. Like, especially when, like, I played World for the first time, there was, like, moments in, like, low rank and high rank and whatever rank quests where, like, an invader would come in and they just roared each other for five minutes and then do nothing. I'd just be fucking warlock. No peak performance, so they got chipped like a retard. Very good. What the? That? Not good. Fuck. That read swing, like the last, the very last hit, the silk by shockwave, I mean the, the um, impact burst, that, that hit him. Like when he was out of recovery animation, so he flinched. I, I agreed it too hard. Very so far opening. Very so far in But that's pretty good actually. Like I think I can still exhaust something. Crap, that was a fucking white right number. Please. Oh my god, that was a terrible way to go. I waited to long for it, and then he immediately fucking tumbles out of it. This sucks. He didn't even finish there, what the fuck? He's my favorite monster, but I can't wait to be done with him. I've, I've had enough running him. Like, it's enough. Hmm. 
unless I learn another weapon that's very good against exhaust state, which is um nothing probably. Okay, I thought I'd get in there. Wait, wait, sure, let's see. Oh, never mind. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I'll never know, I guess. White number of the last hit is not good. That's 500 damage on. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go! Wait, what? Hit by that? Shit, I should have fucking delayed a bit more. Because now I lose my peak performance. I missed. No! He toppled just outside of screen range. That's sad. No! I missed it! Fuck! Oh no, I lost like 1500 damage already. Just off miss swings. And like, for a weapon like... Well, for most weapons, that's not too big a deal. But like, since Hammer's so fucking backloaded... Oh, I lost even more damage. That was my numbers. Hammer's so backloaded that like, it's just like... When you lose 1,000 damage, that's 5 seconds, even though your DPS like, is like pretty high. Like, it's just back loaded damage. It's not as bad as like, losing a TCS on Grace or whatever the fuck, but like, it's still like ass, cause... Weapon bad. Oh my god, bad, bad, bad. Fuck, I'm gonna continue. Rebuff. Oh, 
Okay, that's very funny. I fucking fucked up my positioning on that one. What am I doing? What the fuck? That's not the script. Oh no, that's not the script. It's gonna miss a level 3. Some dumb. I wish Wilds would introduce like a fucking reset quest option where you just start from the beginning of it again. So I don't have to fucking go back to the fucking base, eat the food, pick the quest, load in. No abandoned animation. But they're not gonna do that. Like I bet they're gonna make it open world. The monsters are gonna spawn in random places. There's no like fixed quests, so I can't fucking speed run anything. <laughs> And like there's always like small monsters invaded, environmental hazards. All the skills are random, all the armor's random, all the weapons are random moments. Oh man, that'd be so great. It's an online only um three thousand dollar pay DLC. That's not the position I want either, asshole. Okay, what? This is so bad, what the fuck is happening? Did I not eat Saga? Am I that dumb? Well, did I just missed the head 800 times? Like, uh, so bad. Probably the second option, actually. Go! 
Oh, send this in. Oh. Head beam. That one hit back first. Do not mount. I repeat, do not mount. Thank you. Okay, I'll kill myself. You can mount now, asshole. You fuck up. Never mind, do not mount. I repeat, do not mount. White numbers and shit. This is gonna hurt. No! Live service. Um, all the monster quests, like they have two versions. One's only available one day, one's available the next. Four siege monsters, they're all on like a quarterly rotation, like three months each. So if you want your gear, you'll wait until December. Um, login updates every, like login bonuses every day. They contain key crafting material for the best weapons. Um, they should have relic armor and weapons and charm, so you can keep grinding forever. They, uh, what else do they do? How else could they make the game more fun and modern? All the character creation options are like ugly ass faces, that'd be good. There'll be no cute girls in my game. I did not hear that. Alright, whatever. Wait, is he gonna KO off this? Fuck! That was the head and he didn't. Who messaged me? mode like but instead of like cutscenes and like dialogue boxes you walk along a path and people tell you shit so you can't skip it like like fake fake long cutscenes right i love that shit oh my god so fun walking walking like walking fucking for 10 minutes while people yell stuff at you because they don't want to do cutscenes cutscenes are uninteractive hold w to progress dialogue what great storytelling Well, instead of loading screens, you can have like big ass fucking open areas, like with like nothing space in between. So like, while you're traveling the area, it loads up the next populated area. Oh my god, genius! I can do that. Whoops, I missed. Come on, buddy, do the do the thing. Thank you. Ah, oh, I missed the fucking juicy or something that, but whatever you done. No! 
way! <laughs> the dog! I should just like give up and run like fucking event quest as a loss, do it like 1 minutes 30, oh darn easy. Monster doesn't move. This monster moving shit is too fucked. I've been running iPhone for 2 weeks and I'm like, damn that monster's not moving, this is great. I finally had a good angle in that shit so I didn't get fucking hit and I got a Dren Rush for the No adren rush because he roared at me early, motherfucker! I want my 30 roar. Give it to me. I can't get it here. Fuck! Oh, wrong button. The hammer slamming down for the shockwave buff doesn't have a hitbox with the spin does. Hmm. I, I never thought of that actually. What the fuck? Yeah, it should do like 8,000 damage, that became a good. You play like Icebone hunting on right, you just fucking keep planting in the ground and spinning it. Oh yeah. How much damage would you want it to do like if they gave that a hitbox? Because it kind of makes sense to me I guess, but like at the same time, before you mention it, I never noticed that shit. Oh no! 
That's so rare when I play Hammer. The bad space thing, I should have rolled forward. But there's no time, fuck. So like, he does the instant double wing slam if you're like too far from him. If you close the gap, he'll back up burst, which is like what gives a lot of weapons time to like prepare the punish. But here, I was just in the wrong position. I don't learn! <laughs> I don't learn! Oh my god, there's, there's no second order thinking here. There's just first order. Oh, that was bad. And then again, oh, that was bad. <laughs> Wait, why is this happening now? This never happened before. Oh man. Completed run. It's gonna be like seven minutes forty, but one completed run. We need some momentum here. Okay, that time is rare. Normally when he does Tail Plug, I'm too slow with the level 3 to KO him before he gets in the air. Because when he gets in the air, he's like, he can't be like, oh, he can't be like fucking CC until he starts doing the Tail Plug itself. It's weird. Like, there's a part of the animation where he's like, untouchable. Like, this whole like, the, the Tail Waggling, during the Tail Waggle part, I can't fucking knock him down, paralyze him, mount him, do anything. He's locked for that. I don't know why, but it's pretty funny. But that was good. I whipped the fucking person on purpose and I paid off. He flinched immediately, like I thought he would. Please break the bubbles. Thank you. No, I missed the last tail bubble. Fuck oh, you! Alright, I didn't do much KO damage on that in my last sequence, so... Yes, good. So that was more than I thought, so I thought he'd get up and fuck the KO, but whatever. I'm dumb. That missed the head. I hit a neck. Whoopsie. Should I fucking wallbang him here, or hit ball him here? No. I'll flinch him. Good, that cancelled the worst move possible. I mean, like, his worst move for me. I cancelled it, so that's good. Good. Is there in rage now? No, he's not. Now he's not going to rage. He's going to do one move. Fuck. He's not going to rage. What? Okay. I read that wrong. Shit. I lost time for that. That was lucky. He almost hit my ass. Holy, that was close. Okay, sure, you ignore me. I keep fucking hitting your ass in. 
Okay, that was good. That was really good actually. I popped two bubbles and I cancelled the long ass animation. Even though I end up the yeah, ads, that's still worth it. Okay, I was convinced he could reach that hit. That's why I went the first one on purpose, but like, I didn't, but whatever, that's fine. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Fuck! I did not count the KO at all. So I missed 700 damage because the swing went the wrong place. Or like 500 damage missed, not 700. That's total 700. Like 800. Fuck, hit the foot, I'm bad. Actually, throwing. I'm actually throwing, wow. Number one thrower, right here. Okay, okay. He could have exhausted after the delayed slightly, that's great. Inch with heart, not good. No, what am I doing? Are these runs or just casual play? Um, they are runs, but if they're not a casual play, that's that's a worry for me. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's not good. Dude, the light goes out. I'm like, yep, it's safe to walk forward. No, that's a lie. That shit lasts for ages. He tricked me. Invisible electricity is illegal, bro. You can't do that shit. Fucking cheating monster. That just sucked. That was dumb as fuck. But like that wasn't a good run anyway. Like everything got sort of fucked up. And it wasn't wasn't right. It just was not a fast pace, you know. A fast pace, I'm gonna constantly match the fucking charge button. Because you give me good window seat swinging. Slow pace, I'm fucking holding the charge button waiting, or like rolling around without fucking holding anything. That's like the, like, even, you know, we get cool punish and stuff, it might not be fast, because I want the high uptime garbage. Fuck you, I thought that wouldn't reach. Banned from tournament play, yeah. Oh, on the subject of tournament, like, um, a guy called Nightside's organizing an Iceborne tournament, like, based on Arena Quest, it's a duo tournament, double elim bracket for, like, top 8. It's gonna be pretty fun. I'm going to share a link to it in the whatever the fuck community posts or Twitter or whatever when it becomes like, uh, when it's all finalized because it's a really nice idea. But unfortunately, it seems like, I don't know, some of the washed up Icebound runners I know might not have entered. Like, I don't actually know yet until they post the qualification bracket. They can't just let Sunbreak players go in and get in the top 8. Oh nice! Complete whip! Let's go! Please head be me. Thank you. He's not gonna KO me because I whipped, right? I don't know, let's see. Okay, never mind. Level 1 does no fucking KO. 
it's it, like it actually does so little compared to level two and three swing. Two and three do the most, well, a lot. But like three hits fucking hard with KO damage. What the fuck? What? No one saw that, right? No one, like, you guys were watching, surely. Don't watch that. I did not. That was. What the fuck? All seven of you, don't, don't ever fucking mention that moment again. But that, that, that didn't happen. Mount yet? What the fuck? I feel great. Like the first I got a third K without mount. That's that's kind of whack. But third K without mount might be good because that sort of guarantees fourth K is gonna come. But I don't know. Who even knows, bro? Scripting is hard for these fucking long ass fights where it's like a very loose script. Because the monster moves. We don't like that. We're free solos. Okay, that was whack as hell because he probably got near a wall. If he wasn't near a wall, that would be clean. But shit happens. But shit, ha ha ha, very funny. No, there's two bubbles. Why are the bubbles not pop? Okay, if 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 Wilds adds the anomaly bubbles back in, I will fucking send an angry email to Capcom every week. This mechanic is is like the bane. The bane of my existence. Like, the anomaly system would be so good if they didn't get tired and they didn't have the fucking red bubbles. It'd be so good. But they just had to fucking put in the gimmick in. Damn, this guy sucks. Ding dong ding. That's my Chinese name, by the way. I missed, I missed, I missed. Fuck you, I missed. Nice. But I missed, I fucking missed. Oh my god, if this is the run, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna squeal like a piggy, I swear to god. I will squeal like a fucking baby. Shit, my numbers.
Oh, that was, that was clean though. That fucking swing was perfect. Holy shit. Full, full speed ahead, perfect angle. Perfect positioning. Oh, okay, yo. Cancel some stupid move. Very good. Oh, you fucker, you better not fucking hit me. I should have swung. I'm a coward. Okay, never mind, it's all good. Okay, that hit, that barely hit. Nice. I should have held on with me there. It would be good. I'm a coward. Intimate heart attack. What? Not bad? Headbeam, please. No. That's fine, actually. That's cool. Please don't headbeam now. Cunt! Thoughts on a wing bong? Wait, alright. What the fuck did you just send me? Wang Bing, Wing Bong. What the fuck did you send me? I, I can't put that shit on stream. Time to go. Dude, wait, wait. Maybe I just give up on this dog shit and do a scorn to your sets. Fuck, that's a lot's hammer. I have a 648, I'll take it. Fuck this fucking matchup. Scorn CSS is so much more fun because all of its hit zones are fucking orange numbers. So like, I don't look like dog shit when I miss. I just fucking swing randomly. It's like, oh, orange number. It must be a good hit. <laughs> I left to clip the back leg when he's mad somehow. That'd be pretty bad. Oh yeah, wing hit. Yep, intentional. So intentional. Hit him at all in the head? Do the thing! Come on, do the funny! I don't like you. I did the tail plug. Tail plug, please. Motherfucker, I keep in the ring! I mean, it's planned so I get the uh, KO marginally later. Wait, can I have a gold spawn that? Who knows?
Yeah, that's a good sequence of these. Please do the tail. Yes, you're you're a good man. You're a good man. Boys like you. Good guy, Astalos. Uh, I had the fucking white nub as well. Good that you ran into the corner though, not across the map. Like, into the corner is like vaguely tolerable. Because like, I could just chase him down quickly. I missed. That's up. That's what people will say when they watch my run. Well, that sucked. Oh, that was clean. Okay, that was good. That was bad because he had a fucking red bubble when I didn't pop. Don't care, please. Oh man. Ah, fuck nuggets. Oh, oh, so lucky. He was about to do a dog shit garbage move. Well, I'd say that, but he only did a bunch of dog shit garbage moves, so it wasn't lucky in general. That specific instance only was lucky. The rest has been fucking garbage. Exactly what you just did, you fuck off. How dare you? Alright, you get over here, young man. Get over here. You piece of shit! This is so scuff. This is like mega, ultra, super duper. Omega, Giga, dog shit, garbage, scuffed run. Wait, this is funny. Wait, it's not funny. He didn't get into the fucking shock trap. Whoops. He's 
just ignoring it, bro. <laughs> Cheated. He cheated. Most of the cheats. Scouted like what, like fucking seven minutes? No, it's slightly below seven based on this fucking little clock on the top left. Yeah, okay, seven minutes, I guess. Ah, uh, fuck. So he would have died like seven twenty, seven thirty. Ah, Jesus Christ. But like, what? Like, fuck, man. My six forty-eight. It looks like shit because I missed so many swings. But then, like, I'm always swinging, so it's always like. Uptime, you know? Bad time. Time to go. One second. It's great to see you. Anomaly quests can be found here. May tranquil days return to us shortly. Oh, I got stuck. I'm so dumb. this someone make me something funny Let's see if it's useful wait what is this here in this video i'm going to explain what to do or what you can do when a monster does a gap opener on you so what's a gap opener well a gap opener is just the opposite of a gap closer Right, so if I'm the hunter here, uh, a gap closer is a move short. that closes the gap. But what's a gap opener? If you right, well, the total distance between you and the monster just increased, so it's essentially a gap opener. Now, an another way the monster can do a gap opener: flying ice monster. You can't hit the monster. <laughs> you can't just. And usually, if it's like a Kushala dash, and you're going to five seconds greater of distance between you. Usually it's about two seconds or more. You're not going to even try and attack them. You're just going to stay here. You're going to sheath. You're going to do item management. You're going to try sheath and pick up slinger ammo because you can only pick up ammo when you're sheath. You could even sharpen. Like even if you don't have a palico, you can just pop a smoke bomb uh, over here so the monster won't know where you are. You can just sharpen right here, right in the middle of the arena. Or you can even heal too. You can pop uh, smoke and heal. You don't even need to pop smoke. What? 
1.5 second gap and then like like you just completely disengage I don't, it's it's like I don't know if I agree with that necessarily because a lot of the monsters a lot of the fucking monster AI right if they run past you they're coming back and like a 1.5 second gap for some endgame monsters is non-existent like take a Latrian right if his ass runs past you he is coming back quick or like Teostra if his ass runs past you he's gonna come right back in like less than a second like so if you like like taking time to pick shit up off the ground where the fuck like if you play in solo play it's just I don't know like do you need that singer do you need to reapply your fucking buffs do you need to sharpen in that time like you can if you need to sharpen that's that's a good option but like I don't know let's continue okay, you can just heal right so as long as you're doing something productive with this downtime this forced downtime then it's not that big of a deal what a lot of beginner hunters will do is they get too impatient so they'll be presented with this gap opener situation and they'll actually try to run in and try and get a hit in and you know you you know if you're hitting the tail uh, and it's a weak point it probably is worth it but usually the uh, in general if you do chase and you hit it like once if you hit it once, that's more damage than like buffing would give you. <laughs> like, if you rebuff and like achieve the rebuff, that's probably less damage than running after and hitting it twice or like once or twice. Like, I think running off is actually better. The, the issue with that is that the monster is basically gaining pure initiative on you because initiative. the monster has no hits done naturally. Or by creating a two second or more time advantage on top of you when the monster naturally has more initiative. That means by the time you finish this attack here and get an attack on the tail, he's already starting his next attack. That's and true, you're typically going to be caught in... It's like all dependent on like what pattern it is. If you know the monster, like a good player would still chase that shit if it's not coming back. If it is coming back, they just wait and like prepare like a big hit or some shit. I don't know. Movement is not good like if you're gonna sheath and sprint to him that's already 1.5 seconds to sheath and then you're gonna sprint and then you have to unsheath after that that's just not gonna work and the natural run speed of charge blade in sword and shield mode which is the faster mode is still not enough time to reach him so for the case of charge blade is naturally better right because the monster is going to keep charging into the wall and he can't keep going right he's just going to stop here and of course when he's still running to the wall like this it's still he he still has a active hitbox so you obviously don't want to touch him yet until he's in recovery but this is a much better position you can just turn around and start attacking him now this is where you can attack the tail if it's a weak spot some monsters weak tails are not weak spot if you are not a guarding weapon this is a situation you never want to be in as a evading type weapon you always want to be circling Sort of like in Tekken or 3D fighting games, you never want your back against the wall. You want to circle. Yeah, nah, what the fuck? There's nothing wrong with having your back against the wall. Just... In fact, like, from my perspective, if the monster does a fucking exhaust run at me, if, it's, if my back's against the wall, it's better because he creates less distance. Unless it's fucking ass doing die bomb, that's pretty shit. <laughs> well, like, say I'm here, right? Like, I wanna be here if he's gonna exhaust on me. If he's gonna run past me, I want him to be here. Because I can evade that shit and hit him again quicker. I don't want him in the open doing that shit. I've actually seen some of his other videos, like, um, like, regarding, like, frame data and stuff, but it just seems so irrelevant for, like, a beginner player because, like, this is not, like, a PvP fighting game, this is a PvE monster hunting game. The frame data stuff, you don't need to know any of that at all. Fuck, he flinched. Please, dude. No. But like, like more than that, like there's like a hunt where it's like, like he fucking says, uh, this is what like 5,000 hours of Monster Hunter looks like. And he just does a mid-ass normal hunt where he, he like doesn't do the, he doesn't actually play optimally. I don't know how good his advice is because like, so many of the videos like I've looked at is just fucking 10 minutes of talking where he just goes over one key point that's not necessarily correct. Enough of that. He's thinking of the game from the wrong perspective, like. It's like, like, 
the way he thinks of the game is like there's fucking like discrete punishes for each move and like you want to have like like you look at the recovery time of monsters animations and you match up like some sort of fucking frames you have on your punishes like that's not how it works because monster hunter the key to mastery rather than like looking at recovery time of the monster and your punishes it's more like past that you want to attack when the monster's attacking like if you find like positioning that works the frame data goes out the window because you could just hit it while it's hitting you like for example when i jump over the fucking die bomb here to do the simple spinning button i don't care about its frame data recovery data i have my own like there's like there is a window for me to punish during the active frames of the move Or like a lot of the moves, like you start your punish like, and your punish ends later, like your frame disadvantage apparently, upon like funny game stuff, but that doesn't matter because it's worth it to land like a bigger hit on certain one windows. And there's also a lot of stuff like accounting for flinches, accounting for KO, like, like sometimes like, if you hit like a TC of the monster, right? You do enough those, you're pretty sure it's gonna flinch, it becomes worth it, like. His advice is very general in nature, like not weapon specific, but in t like at times it's sort of like reductive. But not in the way that would be useful to a beginner, because it's also too specific for a beginner. Like frame data and shit doesn't matter. And the idea of like you want to be circling the monster like in Tekken, like I do not. <laughs> In Sunbreak, like, since it's a counter-based game, you want to be in front of it. I spawn, even though it's not a counter-based game, you want to be in front of it generally. Because that's the best hit zone, that makes it like, the most obvious way to tell what it's going to do to you. And you have such strong iframe, it's not an issue. Like, the idea of, like, shaping your weapon to pick up singer pods when the monster runs past you is, like, it just fucks your whole tempo. Oops, I fucked my tempo. So when do I do that? I do that with Lance. Like, when Athos runs at me with Lance, I shape and retreat for Frostcraft. That's one thing I do, but, like, I don't, like, stand there and wait. I shape and retreat towards him. Like, I chase him down. Because that's the loss of the monster that won't come back. So like, from his example, I guess like, oh no, you, you won't stand there, but he goes, he's not coming back. Assault does not come back. So if you just stand there, like, you have to fucking wait like, more than 1.5 seconds for him to come back. It's not worth it. But if I like, uh, Iceborn, Theostra, or like, Elatrian, they run past you, they are coming back, and they're coming back fast with a hitbox. So, you gotta prepare to counter that. You can't cheat and, uh, do anything, cause... You're gonna get hit. But like for Rathian's triple charge, like the, the Rathian family, Rath lost their exhaust charge or the triple charge. That one is really fucking annoying to deal with. That one... I still wouldn't cheat, like I would actually just chase his tail and hit him. Because that's more damage than fucking rebuffing is. But sharpening, I would sharpen if I need to sharpen. If I don't need to sharpen, I wouldn't. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, I hit a neck. That was not good. I mean, I'm tactically, tactically delaying the KO a little, you know? Tactically. What? Please break the bubbles, please, please, for the love of God. Oh! He's tired of the dog. Ah. 
I'm trying to think of monsters where you do want to be like not in front of it, but like the only examples I can think of are from pre-Gen 5 games because in Gen 5, your defensive options are like usually good enough that you could just be in front of the monster. And like you want to be in front of the monster because it's better damage. What? He won! Oh my god, I lost. Nah, I'd win. Come on! Come on! You fucker! Please, 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 just do the good moves only, none of the bad moves, and give me exhaust dunk, give me 4 KOs, and also don't chip me. Is that too much to ask? Oh my god, I'll see the wing. No, who the big hit missed? Fuck you! Dirty dog. Oh my god, no exhaust time for me, I guess. Oh yeah, I got it. That was close. Ah, oh, no. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. I missed again. It's all over. Feels like deja vu. Um, yeah. What do you think of the Lunaga run and Charge Blade matchup? Oh, dude, I got some thoughts. Watch this. Uh, we turned to China for the guidance. Where's my boy? Where's my boy with the, the horns? Here. This is what I think of the fucking Lunaga run and Charge Blade matchup. I saw a bit of your runs earlier, and like I noticed you had no load shells, which is like crazy to me. But here, like I think Axe Hopper is the way because it's cool. 
<laughs> so, what does your boy do here? Uh, what's his name even? I don't even know his name. Let me translate that shit. I, I like this guy's gameplay. Dead sighting. Dead sighting. What? I don't even know what that means. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I didn't see that. So, think. Scroll swap. And he just knows a pattern and he fucking acts opposite. We. Think. Scroll swap. Axe swap. Oh. I, like, my least favorite part of Dunagaron is his, like, Non in, his non enraged state takes so long between his fucking attack strings, right? So, like, if you're playing counter based style for that session of time, you sort of suffer because you get limited counter opportunities. And that's one of the parts where Axopa flourishes. Like, Axopa wants to fucking have a big fucking window to swing into. So, like, the exhausted, I mean, the, um, the basic Lenagaron is really good for Axopa because he's so inactive in, like, in comparison to Ice State. Like, you just see his here, right? Like, he's got all the time in the world to sheet for Frostcraft. Fucking hit the uh, Axe Upper right here. No? Yes. Be like, if you're playing SAD here, right? Like, unless you've got files loaded, you're sort of like helpless and clueless as to what the fuck you do. Boom. Big damage. No, small damage. Scroll swap tech. Axe Upper because the taunt is so long. Like, even in the Ice State. His taunts are long enough to get fit axe up as in. For TA Wiki. Um This is possible in TA Wiki. Like fuck I mean let me find my but let's finish watching this first. Like TA Wiki like you, you can build this sort of set, I'm pretty sure. Like it wouldn't like you wouldn't like wait, would you run Berserk Metal Hellfire? You could actually, you really could. I think. I think. Like, obviously, you won't get Frostcraft. Uh, Hell Factor could be pretty costly, so maybe you wouldn't have that shit. But, like, Axel style doesn't even need that much. Well, like, Lunagron in general doesn't need that much guard, I think. His, his attacks aren't that strong guard power wise, so. You could probably make this work. But here, yeah, I'm just gonna finish watching this and I'll make a set. I'll try to one up. Bonk! Dink! Bonk! Axe Hopper, funny, haha! <laughs> defiance, funny, wait, that's intimate heart, not even Defiance. That's Defiance. Honestly, I don't know this monster's moveset that well, so like, I don't know the punishes beyond the ones I see here, right? Like, <laughs> but it's so interesting to see, like, since he's doing these axes, right? You get an idea of just how long he fucking taunts for. The so, scroll stopping here is like for two things: it's for CP, like to load files quickly, and like, um, yeah, I guess to reset berserk, but. It's like, it's mainly to load files. And so his set is like, Super Augments, Blee Blee style, of course, but you don't need all this shit. Because most of these skills aren't the core damage skills that he's got the uh, Augments. Like, a okay, Berserk 2, Health Back Cloak 3 charm, that's like a god charm, but you don't need that either. Like, okay, let me fucking try and make one. Thankfully, I cooked up a... A... Yeah, Ricky set earlier. Curious one, huh? It's sad. So, you'll be using. It's non Ellen Bane most of the time, so I'd use this one. Bro, I'd consider Bloody Heart, bro. Like, Bloody Heart is a lot of that. Oh, no. You can't proc it easily, fuck. It's hard to proc on this monster. But, honestly, what else would you use? Like, fucking Wyvern Exploit does, like, nothing. You, you would use Bloody Heart. Like, I would use Bloody Heart. Uh, I'm gonna make this into a male Hellfire Berserk set, maybe? 
No, you, wait, no, it's gonna be dragon conversion. I don't know, wait. Berserk set is probably easier to build in tier wiki than dragon conversion, right? What pieces give male hellfire? Ah, oh, fuck, male pieces suck, that's a problem. Well, you can do male and, like, my charm is pretty strong. I've got male 3, berserk 1. T11, okay, I, I don't mean being a dickhead, right? But, like, his runs aren't that fast. He was fast in like base world and then he just he just stopped caring I think. Oh that set works fine. Let's let's pretend it's reaction conversion. Fuck making a wait, berserk set. You'd need a berserk charm. Cause you want full blood awakening. Ma can male okay what I don't even know what armor gives fucking male health, I'm dumb as fuck. Male of hell fire. Uh Okay. The unaugmented ones are none of them. And the waste is only scorned waste. So you get male what like Do you have a berserk charm? Like what what like do you have a berserk charm? If you do then you could do a berserk version like male. Otherwise it's gonna be like fucking DC Furious 1 or something like that. CVP if it's a if it's a dragon conversion set, the scrolls be like this. So like with a DC set, flame scale, flame scale, easy. How many one slots do I have? That that becomes a blaze. You don't even need rapid morph, but no, nah, it's good. It's still good. It's still important. I love this skill. Level one three slot. Ah. Uh, that's gonna be, yeah, you can't do that then, I guess. So, yeah. Playing Axe Hopper, Wex? Maybe? Yeah. Element Exploit is kinda shitty, cause this fucker, what, what does hit zone data, man? This fucker, this fucking monster. Like, only in Ice Mode is it, yeah. Only in Ice Mode it gets the Element Bane, otherwise there's no Element Bane, so. I mean, even Element Exploit, it's rough, so, um. I'll think about that shit later. No, I think element resistance is better then. Oh, dude, with Furious 3 DC2, Furious 3 DC2, you could make like a TA wiki set that does as much damage as freestyle. If you get the God Charm, which is so fucking annoying, right? Like, because, like, ain't no one getting that shit. Well, you can, but like, if one guy gets that, he automatically wins. He just beats everyone because he gets more damage for free. So, burst. We're playing solo, so Bolin's good. Look at all these slots. You even fit a Hellfire Cloak in here. In fact, I don't need to put Blaze on a fucking 4 slot. I can just put... I can make this Intrepid. I can make this Blaze. And I can make this bad boy Blaze as well. And this can be, what? Hellfire. And then you put Hellfire here. Uh, you want at least one level element exploit only, I guess, because it still does sort of become Ellen Bane for a bit. Boom, boom, boom. And then you have all these slots here. We got load shells, load shells, magazine, magazine. What the fuck is magazine? There it is. And you get three, two slots, three, four slots, I mean. Do I even want Wex? Yeah, I do. But do I want like crit boost with like Embolden? Okay, Embolden should be enough. Embolden 2 should be enough for the Naga run, right? Then you can put like, you can get crit boost and Wex with the Axe Hopper. Because I'm, I'm building this for Axe Hopper because Axe Hopper is cool. If it's not Axe Hopper, then you don't need Wex and crit boost. Like, I don't know what you put instead. And like now, training area. Is your iPhone alarm ringing? No. I don't have an iPhone. Dragon, fire, ice. So then you get the... This is better than any exploit for this sort of set because of the hit zones. Uh, dragon... Fire... Ice...
Oh wait, and then wait, I forgot I forgot I didn't check like what it is. Post the Ellie Burst Decos. Post Ellie Burst Decos, I would run Witch Dango. Dragon what Thunder Dragon Water. Thunder Dragon Water. So eat that fucking Thunder Dragon Water. Thunder Dragon Water. Oh no. Okay, anyway, how, how much, how much, like, um, element does your set get to? Because this one I hooked up is a Blood Awakening 3, no Strife, no Dereliction, 201 element at base. Okay, uh, bear in mind, I don't know the matchup, so this is gonna look like shit. Do I even have this guy? I don't have the monster. Alright, so you get 220 with like the uh, dereliction and strife, right? So this one becomes stronger, I guess, after like the blood awakening activates. But that takes a while on this monster, I guess. I don't, I don't know, like, if the strike would be better, but this is like, this gives you more slots to have stuff. Fuck it, I'll do the, I'll do the hazard version, though. I have not done it before, amazing. Strife 1, interesting. I would have thought, like, uh, more strife with better fears would be better, but. Like, can't you run the, uh, the, the, the Risen Shigaru chest to get, like, two more strife? I don't know what chest you're on now, but that would be... Wait, what skulls are on this one? Hello? Hello? So blah blah blah. This is gonna hurt. I missed! I didn't miss, I did not miss, I did not miss. Wait, what? That's the scroll swap! Scroll swap! Scroll swap! I'm doing it anyway, I'm getting fucked. I'm not gonna move. This is not going on. Bro! Oh, I thought I had hitbox. I'm wrong. Help! I'm gonna spam CVP! Help! Okay, that's not hitbox. The taunts are so long, what a funny monster. I missed. No. I'm slow. No, you're telling me that's gonna hitbox, you're lying. I'm washed. Let me store files for the hellfire cloak. Okay, I need more guard than that actually, okay, emboldened food's not enough. Oh. Okay, Strive 3 is weaker than Furious 3. How do you get Furious 3? Is it on your, like, do you have a charm with Furious on it? Because, like, the only other piece that would be used for Furious is, like, what, the, uh, fucking Furious Regang arms. So, let's swap this for this. Like, I'm pretty sure Axe Hopper will be better than SAD if you do this matchup. When's the world comp? I don't know yet. But if you're running, like, okay, I, yeah, Strike would be better than fucking Blood Awakening here. Fuck Blood Awakening. I didn't even have, I didn't even have like, a bloody, uh, Blood Right, so. So, wait. Okay, this will become Archfiend. The. This will become. I think this is Risen Shigaru. All three pieces of the Risen Bow, Shigaru legs, which other arm pieces are directed to the arm, okay, yep. Well, so you got a Furious 3 charm then, right? Oh my lord! 
Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> I saved this? Alright, 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 that's the charm. That is the charm. <laughs> I think I got that really early into Vigor Melding and I was just laughing the whole day. I, I haven't used it a single time until now. It's amazing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the furious defenders! Okay, uh, this bad boy, I guess. What's the last piece for fucking Dragon Conversion again? The coil? Ah, uh, goodbye, Prudence Coil. Okay, of course, you had, what, well, you said you had the Risen Shigaru legs, which is a good choice. I don't have an unarmored one, I'll have to make one now. And then the Archfiend arms. Uh, Archfiend. What was I making? Oh, this one. Alright, let's make it happen. Strike while the iron's hot. Okay, so I assume your set is this sort of stuff then. Blah blah blah. <laughs> the defense boost! Yes! Defense boost! Okay, so this makes the uh the crit part of axe hopping hard. Bloody hard because uh, it's gonna be fucking stronger than anti species no matter what. You don't need only that, like a couple of those. I put chain here for now. Because that's more important in this current moment. Uh, Emboldened to excellent. Wait, no, I can put guard here. Guard? No, we want hellfire cloak. So, what? Blaze. Blaze. That could be interpreted. Oh my god, there's so many one slots! Wait, let me. One, two. One slot, one slot. Oh my god. Crazy. That could be interpreted. This could be Hellfire. Hellfire. Then you got. How much guard would you run on this far car? Damn, it's all four slots left. What about your mama boost? Ouch. What did she do to deserve this? Alright, I will cope. Health by a cloak four. But what am I even doing? I don't even know what I'm doing, bro. I'm just. Whatever, embolden, embolden. Where? Where? Bolden. And... Ellie Reds or Defiance? Hmm. Ben's boost is nuts. Interesting. Do I have guard? I got Bolden. Uh... uh Thunder Reds probably. Fuck. 219, I put the Thunder Resident and that becomes like what, 224? And then I eat the element deck, the element Dango, and it becomes what? Uh, Dango would give me a total of. It should be like 234 or some shit, right? Eat a random one. Like, I think Axop is stronger than SAD because you hit harder during the exhaust phase downtime where he's standing around like a dumbass. 229. Huh? Oh, yeah, I don't give 5 for the. Okay. 229, 35% affinity. Latent power too, I don't know. Alright, let's see. Alright, teach me the matchup, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. TA Wiki, no way, bro. I don't know how to play TA Wiki. This'll be easy. Did I bring Element Expert at all? I have forgotten.
Wait, it's not even stronger than Thunder Res on average because this guy is 10 to 15 for so long. So, nah, fuck that. He doesn't spend that long on ice. Well, no, 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 okay. Anomaly one, anomaly one, element point one is probably valuable. But this hazard one, I don't think so. Unless you can fit it, you know? Whoops. Yeah. What is this? I hate this monster. No, I was so smart. Oh yeah, he taunts. He's so stationary. I will not go wall. No, I'm too slow. I don't have no chance, do I? I forgot, didn't I? Oh well. I should have taken a fucking ton of resistance for fucking uh, what's it called? Magazine Deco. I want a stack of power, please. Okay, that one you can't go, huh? Kill me. I'm not a god for that shit. That means I got something. Death. Well, um, yeah. I'm gonna give up now. But like, did I link? Did I link you the run? The one on baby? Like, you can learn some openings from that one. Did I link it or did I not? Yes, I did. Yeah, just watch that one. Like, I'm pretty sure this play style is stronger than SAD spamming. Wait, let me show you. Let me show you the cool version of this. The, the cool, the cool, the cool. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Here's the real shit. Yeah, you can have something huge swipe, but like, I just didn't have files loaded, and I didn't have the right scroll, I think. Like, I can't give you any matchup tips because I have not practiced it, so unfortunately there's no specific things I know. But, like, in general, its behavior during, like, its uh, non-enraged state is it's so fucking potato. It just sits there for two hours, you may as well act up in the head, you know. Like, okay, here's the, here's the real scroll swap shit. Like, this monster, theoretically... You could get like a 230 freestyle if you fucking play Axe Hopper, but I cannot get it because I'm shit. But here's like that sort of proof of concept, you know. Why did that hit me? What the fuck? I'm not going to shift on I? Whoops. Okay, okay, that's not the proof. That's not it. That's not it. I missed my draw guide point because I faced the wrong way. Very clever. Well, that didn't work out. That is not the. Okay. The most annoying thing, like, when I was trying to get this primordial run, is that. Like, everything hinges on the opening, well, everything hinges on everything. Unless you get perfect AI, it's not gonna work, which is, um... It makes me very sad, because I actually have to grind very hard. 
Cause and I am bad. So oh, where's my shifter set? Of Dongo. Shifter. Axe Hopper, Axe Hopper, Axe Hopper! Axe Hopper's so cool. Like, you don't see anyone on YouTube playing like this because it's hard. But like, the China, the China pros, they got, they got the Axe Hopper style down. Fuck! Wrong scroll. It's already scuffed, I guess. Who cares, I'll just continue. Okay, I should be Axe Hopper right now, but I'm not, because I fucked up. It's not safe, by the way. This is like, dangerous. Whoopsie. Is Hopper stronger than normal SAD? Yes, for two reasons. Like, if he did not HP lock, I think normal SAD would still win. But, since he does, Axe Hopper is better because after the transformation, SAD playstyle, like, you probably like have to take, like, um, it takes three SADs to kill him, like if you play usually. I don't know a setup for two. But Axe Hopper, I do know a setup where you kill him in two SADs after the transition. So it's just Hopper is probably better. But like theoretically, like the moment that you axe hopping him, can't you just morphing advance SAD that? I'm just thinking about it now. I didn't consider it before. I don't know. You guys don't know you guys don't know what I'm talking about, because I'm just fucking yapping. With no context, but do a good move, asshole. Okay, I have to reset like if I'm speed running because that's a bad move. Okay, this is actually like if this is a real run, it's already over. He does two bad moves, it's done. Jump over it. I'm all recovered. Oh, yeah, I gotta go forward. I gotta go sideways. Sideways dies. If I jumped forward, I might have lived. Time for a rest. That zone time was instant, bro. That's that's PC, you know. Switch players could never. Let's go. Fuck the the bird, my bird! No, I wanna die. Uh oh, that's uh that's mildly concerning. I'm actually dead, aren't I? The drain is so bad when you're nerfed to well far. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good opening. Please, continue it. That's bad. I'm gonna do it anyway, because he should be fucking fall over, please. Thank you. I missed the hopper hit. That's bad. And I have full health because I forgot to pick up the healing of the dogs. I'm stupid as hell. I am so dumb. No, no SAD chance. Oh well. Oops, oops, oops. That was bad. I could have SAD there actually, but I'm bad at the angle. This is a really bad one. <laughs> Ah! Well, that didn't work out. 
They threaten your life, then kick in a PV. Uh. Least angry Chinese lobby, huh? So that last one I did no damage because the uh, the dogs healed me at a dragon heart. So that's why I took that shit off. I need to be on low HP for big damage here. Ready to go. I can feel the power. <laughs> No, I'm too slow. What? Fuck. Oh, yo, that's that good. That was not the plan, but I guess it was. This is so ugly. What the fuck is happening, bro? I still can't me yet. I did no damage. I did no damage. Bad times. Whatever, I'm just gonna play this fucking casually. What the fuck? That first bit guy points bullshit and then I fucked up my angling for the second one. Oh my god. Oh. I'm a casual player, I can think it. Oh, he did transform. Ah, very funny. Hello. Okay. Ah! Oh. I was so slow to react. Or like, not even react. I knew that move was coming. I was just so slow to cue the fucking axe up. Off. I should like I should have done like half as like no like two seconds earlier, and I would have jumped over it. Dumb as fuck moments. What? I traded? No fucking way I traded. I lost a fucking full axe up. What? Should have fucking gone the other way. Oh, man. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, like primordial it's not helped by the fact that a lot of its hitbox is thin and long. But like it's in forlorn arena where the floor is not flat. So it gets really really weird. Like he gets a long ass fucking poke, right? But like depending on how how angled the floor is, it goes up or it goes down and it changes like the horizontal hitbox too. Like it's just really fucking weird. If the floor was flat, there'd be no problem. But that'd be too lame, you know? Capital had a funny fucking ideas like lump of floors, ledges, slopes, all that sort of stuff. Great times. Okay, that's annoying. I'll fire a gun. Oh man, the fucking worst bird I see the fucking same year. Bad times. What the fuck am I doing? I'll, I'll scroll swap I swear, I'll scroll swap. Oh my god, my inputs are bad as fuck. Fucking scan, bro. He's actually locked over me, I don't give a fuck. Just, just transform already. He would have died there, he would have died there, but like, um, I went the wrong way at first. <laughs> nah, but like, that's like sort of how the matchup works. So like, it's not greedy, no. It's not greedy. If I did that properly, it would have killed him. I just mistimed it because I went the wrong way at first. Like, I got the wrong fucking, I forgot which way he goes after the tail swipe. Like, that's meant to kill him. Okay, then set. Bro, you don't want to use this set. Don't use this set. This is not a Zerk set. This is a fucking Dragonheart Dragon Conversion set that uses Berserk as like a enabler for the Dragonheart. This is not playable in casual play. You will fucking die. It's like, it's, it's not 
Like, you just die. If you want a, like, actual Berserk set, I have a Berserk set. Where is it? Or the Nagakuga one? Berserk and Frostcraft, you don't need the fucking Frostcraft. So, like, it's just male, it's like male health by is important. And you have, like, three, um, like, okay, what's important here? That's important. That's important. That's important. This one is, like, optional. Like, if you have a good charm, this is important. That's important. Your, like, your equipment is, like, chaotic, primordial, primordial. That one could be anything. You can replace the Rhyme Coil, I only have it here because I want the Frostcraft, but like you can replace that with a different piece, and you need this one too. But for now, let me do a few more Asphalt Hammer, then I'm gonna make some fucking food. And the gear is this. Wait, the other guy. This guy. I don't have the health regen skills in that set because that's a speedrun set. But yeah, Coach Blessing, Recovery Speed, Super Recovery is all good. It makes it less like terrifying to play. When would you use Berserk over Dragon Conversion? When I can run uh, Blood Awakening, Veil of Hellfire, Strife, Bloody Heart, all that shit. Like the damage is pretty similar to a Dragon Conversion set. Because it lets you run Strife and Blood Awakening at the same time, right? Um, for any monster that gives you easy Blood Ripe or like has early heart breaks, I would run the Berserk set. Because it's just more fun, you know? Otherwise, like, 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 okay, so on my charge blade runs, like, Diablo, Nagakuga, I ran Berserk set because their path break easily, right? But like, for like, Spawn and Asylos, I ran Dragon Conversion because their path don't break easily. That's basically the difference for me. And Spawn and Asylos, I also didn't run Frostcraft, like, the Metal Hellpad set's cheaper so you can run Frostcraft. But like, Spawn and Asylos, like, Frostcraft, you don't really use it because they're always attacking, so I didn't need that. Come on, do the thing. Never mind, don't do the thing then. Fuck you. Oh, he's doing it now, huh? No exhaust, I'm gonna fucking get made. Yo, the dog's got the bubble, that's actually good. As hell. That's so good. But I didn't get exhaust done, so it's not cool. Oh, white numbers, yep. Very funny. Please. Now, a ledge exhaust run is too crazy for me. I'm out of here. I, okay, Blood Awakening for Dragon Conversion, I do use it. But some people don't. Basically how it works is that, like, um... Like, when you get Blood Awakening active, right, that generally means you've healed the full. So your strife deactivates, and there's like an overlap between the skills where, like, you don't get both at the same time, generally. But, I can afford it, so I run it. And, like, sometimes, like, when I tank a move for Bloody Heart, I have Red HP, I get Strife, Bloody Heart, Dragon Conversion all at the same time, it's good. But, like, Usually the combined like effect is not like active, right? Usually you only get one one or the other. Which makes it more consistent on like late pipe break monsters, but like less peak damage compared to early pipe break monsters. Like I mean compared to Berserk on early pipe break monsters. It's like like my damage early in a in a dragon conversion run is probably superior until I get the uh pipe breaks going.
that's quick, wow. Did I let all the hits of everything somehow? The first time I actually hit the monster the head of gear as quickly, who would have thought? Let's go! Never mind. Oh, I got the, oh my god, I got the charge up as well? That's nuts! But it doesn't really matter because the anomaly hill was right after that and he cares about the fucking hell. All this overlap in CC is very sad for the hammer player. Alright, that's end pitfalling. No monster moving allowed. Oh, I'm dumb! I flinched him. No, wait. I flinched him into that fucking... Okay, that's not time loss. That's not that much time. Okay, not that much time loss. It sometimes was. What the fuck I missed? Come on! Dude, I'm basically SNS playing with all these fucking traps and like great job plays. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Or Cat Spammer. Good. Bad, very bad. Fucking flinch, that, that was a bad flinch. Good. Very good. Super good. No, I missed some bubbles. Very sad. Wait, I've done no still playing spinning budgets yet. What the fuck? I'm not gonna mount it anytime soon, man. Like, oh my god. Shit. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny ledge, haha. <laughs> In the ledge, haha, <laughs> very funny, very fucking funny! Aerial hammer, woo! Aerial oh, that's good flinching though. Alright, I need a mountain soon. Please mount. Please do the head beam or something stupid like that. No, okay. That's bad gameplay for my end, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that's a terrible gameplay for my end. I'm just gonna blame the ledge for that one, you know? Hammer mid, you mean hammer mid tier? True! We're done here. 
What the fuck? Actually, that's not bad. That's good. Wait, I should put the fucking wing bubbles, shouldn't I? I did not do that, did I? Okay, okay, what? This one? Oh my god, it's off. Okay, I'm gonna pop bombs now. Fuck, fuck the hits. No! There was one more! I was dumb, I should have popped that earlier. Oh god, oh god, it's gonna shit. Oh, fucking the thing. YOLO! <laughs> I'm throwing! I'm throwing- YOLO! I'm not dead. Uh, so there's no damage. Ooh. Bad. Bad. Last stream you told me it was bad. Um, yeah, it's bad. It's it's middle bottom tier. That's true. It really is. <laughs> it sucks. Oh, man. Hammer bad? True. Uh, I'm gonna do one more, then I gotta make food. What would be top tier versus Acelos? Um, honestly, I don't know how well like the guns do it. I'm like I'm assuming the guns win because they're guns, but like I don't think LBG can kill it without running out of ammo. If they play element, they're gonna play like normal. Wait, even then, LBG is probably strong. Wait, what's that? Wait, what? What's the shot hit zone in this fucker? It is god awful. What the hell? It's so bad. Maybe guns. Okay, gun's probably still a beat, but like the shot hits up for gun is so bad. Yeah, look at this shit! <laughs> Fuck guns. Like, okay, what's top tier? Like, like we don't count guns because guns are dog shit, right? Like, melee weapon, fucking greatsword. Greatsword be strong. Longsword is like... Longsword with heroics is like slightly faster than switch axe and charge blade. Like, charge, okay, it'd be like... Greatsword 1. With heroics. Longsword 2 with heroics. 3 is Charge Blade SAD. 4 is Switch Axe. Then it's Dual Blades. Then it's Lance. If Lance plays heroics, it might be as fast as Switch Axe and Dual Blades. I don't know. And then it's CSS. And then it's like. So SNS is faster than CSS. After. after like, SNS is faster than Lance right now, but like, that's something bad. So like, SNS and Lance are the same without heroics. Then it's CSS, then like Glaive is probably like fucking the powder vortex style. Glaive is probably faster than normal Glaive. And uh, then there's like fucking Hammer or a Gun Lance. Right now, my Hammer run, my PB is 648. It's faster than like um, Nas Gun Lance run, which is 651. But I'm pretty sure Gun Lance, if you push further, would be faster than Hammer. And Hunting Horn, I think it's last. So it's Hunting Horn. So bad, what am I doing? Yeah, Hammer Hammer's like Hammer's like um Hammer's not good, but like like this monster, right? He's the great equalizer. All the weapons can get sub seven. Only great sword crawling sub five. 
like, I don't know if Long Sword survive. Even with hurts, because like it's just really bad and exhaust. So like everything's within a two minute spread. If you played like um if you had like a monster like fucking what? Uh, like Velcana, right? Charge Blade and Dual Blades are like way, 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 way ahead of Hammer. Like half the time or less. Why is Hammer so bad? The damage numbers aren't big enough, that's why. Or like, when the monster moves, you can't do big damage numbers, that's why. Cause like, Hammer's not that bad on like, weak monsters who don't move. Like fucking like, MR6. Press MR5, press MR4, press Hammer who keeps up because that shit doesn't move. But like again, these monsters, your combo is like slow and backloaded, so it's kinda hard to keep up with the fucking counter weapons, you know? Oh my god, I can get gold swing with that fucking bullshit. Lost 1000 damage over there. Like, say Water Strike did like 2,000 damage, that might be good. <laughs> okay, the bubble bomb, very funny. Why am I the tail now? For the fucking... Okay, that, that, that one's just... that's not good. Oh yeah, Tama? Yeah, like... But like, even then, Hammer's weak. Here, Ricky, in fact, right Hammer's weak. Like, uh, Hammer is only strong against monsters where you could full lock them. And you have two dogs helping you do DPS. Like, Freestyle Hammer, like, during TU3 and TU4, Freestyle Hammer was good. Because you would full lock the monster down, and then you just spam your Courage combo, and the dog would spin on it, and you get, like, 100% damage up time. But now, like, in the Special Investigation, this fucker moves. I can't do that. You had your dog chains run out as well. Could Ella not sucker spam in exhaust phase? No. Because, like, landing a sucker slash on head on the exhaust as loss is more cancer than trying to just reimpose it. I never played longsword, but, like, I just know that that's how it would work. Like, his head is, like, waggling when he's exhausted. It is. You cannot land a sucker session that shit. Consistently. Go with a casual hunt tier let's be. Number one, dual blades. Number two, dual blades. Number three, uh, dual blades. Wait, when the water strike. Alright, fuck, I'm making dinner. I'm out of here. I'll be back later, maybe. Probably, yeah, we'll work on nothing better to do.